money unitary method finding the cost of one article if the cost of any number of articles is given then we can find the cost of one article by division cost of one article is equal to total cost of the articles divided by number of articles for example if a packet of 10 color pencil costs rupees 35 how much would one color pencil cost so solution is cost of 10 color pencils is rupees 35 cost of one color pencils is rupees 35 divided by 10 that is rupees 3.5 so one color pencil would cost rupees 3.5 finding the cost of required number of articles if the cost of one article is given then we can find the cost of any number of article by multiplication cost of several articles is equal to total cost of one article multiplied by number of articles for example the cost of one meter long cloth is rupees 30 How much would seven meters of the same cloth cost? So solution is cost of one meter cloth is rupees thirty. Cost of seven meter cloth is rupees thirty multiplied by seven is rupees two one zero. So seven meters of cloth would cost rupees two one zero. Profit and loss. cost price selling price and overhead charges first the price at which an article is bought is called the cost price of the article second the price at which an article is sold is called the selling price of the article third some additional expenses such as transportation labor maintenance etc are also paid such expenses are called overhead charges total cost price is equal to cost price of the article plus overhead charges profit and loss if the selling price of the article is more than its cost price then the article is said to be sold at a profit that is profit is equal to selling price minus cost price If the selling price of the article is less than its cost price then the article is said to be sold at a loss that is loss is equal to cost price minus selling price For example find the profit cost price is equal to rupees 3000 selling price is rupees 3200 profit is equal to selling price minus cost price that is rupees 3200 minus 3000 so profit earned is rupees 200 calculating cost price and selling price first when profit and cost price or selling price is given then selling price or cost price can be found using the formula cost price is equal to selling price minus profit Selling price is equal to cost price plus profit. Second, when loss at cost price or selling price is given, then selling price or cost price can be found using the formula. That is, cost price is equal to selling price plus loss. Selling price is equal to cost price minus loss. Let's see one example. Find the selling price. Cost price is equal to rupees one thousand five hundred sixty-seven. Loss is equal to rupees one thirty-four. Selling price is equal to cost price minus loss. So rupees one thousand five hundred sixty-seven minus rupees one hundred thirty-four is one thousand four hundred thirty-three. So selling price is rupees one thousand four hundred thirty-three. Let's see one more example. Find the cost price, selling price. Selling price is equal to rupees five thousand six hundred forty-five. Profit is four hundred ten. 
Cost price is equal to selling price minus profit. Rupees 5645 minus rupees 410. So answer is 5235. Thank you.